Nostromo. Did I pronounce it right? Very good. Very good. I I know he likes to play tennis. He likes to ride your mountain bike, but only a bit dry weather. I don't like rain. I, I guess you don't drive it very much either. You're not. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Is it a good practice driving a riding a bike for walking? Not really. It's total different movement of the body. So. so Stow away your bike for now. Uh, it is. It is already stowed away because it's fall, and I don't know if you've seen the weather outside this morning. It's not. He's not going to ride it very often. He's a very active member of the WordPress community, and did the plans about the subject of your talk? Did it start in Belgrade or before that? Before that. Even before that, you knew where, where the next word camp was going to be. Where the idea was going to be. Some people accused me that I knew it was going to be Berlin, but I didn't know. It. Okay. No. <laughs> but he has some big plans for next summer, and he's going to tell us about it. So give it up for Marcel. Thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, I have some big plans, and uh, as Birgit told her in uh, told in her in the presentation. Um, if you have big plans, you have to take small steps, and I'm going to take a lot of small steps in May next year, and I will tell you more about this. Um, I'm going to tell a bit about myself, and before I'm going to tell something about myself, I want you to um, uh, reach out to your phone and see if you have a QR code scanner on it, and try and scan this QR code, and it's also on that side. Uh, no worries, there's nothing... Uh, scary gonna happen, but if you use that QR code, you can donate money to the good cause that I'm gonna walk for next year. Uh, that QR code will be there during the whole presentation. I only had it up on the last slide uh, before I got up on stage, and I thought I'm gonna put it on every slide so everybody has time to use that QR code and maybe donate some money. So that's uh, that's that. Um, as Karen already said, I'm the owner of Nostromo.nl, uh, officially, uh, that's a WordPress agency uh, on my own. Uh, I work together with a lot of people and uh, build amazing things uh, and uh, support my customers in that. Um, I do everything in that business. I'm a business owner, development, a developer, project manager, uh, treasurer, and well, every other role you can imagine that that's there in a company. I try to do it myself. Um, for the WordPress community, I... Uh, have done a lot and I'm still doing a lot and sometimes I uh, tend to accept a lot of voluntary uh, business and I want to help out and I know because it gives me energy uh, but taking too much is going to drain your energy so I had to take some step backs at, at some times um, and then another WordCamp came along and just had to invo get involved and I well, helped organize again so I'm uh, I'm very bad in saying no, uh, but sometimes I just have to do it because otherwise there's no more time left to do my work for my company and help my clients, and that's not going to work in the end. Um, what I do for uh, the community is I moderate the WordPress support forum for the Netherlands, uh, see and help out, of course, uh, see if bad things happen there and moderate that. Uh, I'm a translation editor for WordPress Netherlands, and what that means is that everybody can... Um, work on translations for WordPress and there have to be uh, some people or a team who approve the translations to just be sure everything is correct, everything uses the same kind of language uh, and I'm uh, in that team. Uh, I was a co-organizer for WordCamp Europe in 2013, it was in Leiden, who was there? That's great to see a few people here. Um, I helped out for WordCamp the Netherlands 2014-2015 and also in 2016, which was the last one as we know. Uh, there might, it might happen again. Uh, if you want to join and help organize something like that, well, please contact me or uh, check us out on, on Slack and see if you want to help out with that. And I'm lead organizer for WordCamp Rotterdam last year and um, at the closing of WordCamp Rotterdam last year, I announced that I was going to take a step back and do, well, a little less in WordPress community. But again, I failed and I'm going to be lead for next year in 2019. So keep an eye out if you want to go to Rotterdam somewhere in March, April, uh, maybe beginning of May. We still have to set a date. Uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, before I'm going to tell something about uh, my walk to Berlin, I'm going to try and tell you how I got to the idea. Um, if I know it, because I don't really know where it came from, but I think it has something to do with contributing to, uh, to WordPress. WordPress as a project is, uh, is big, it's not only the software, it's, it's the whole community around it, it's the translating, it's the 
um, the documentation, it's the support, uh, it's the design, everything. And everything is done by people like you and me. Um, most of it happens in spare time or is voluntary. Some of it is sponsored by companies who hire people to work full time on the WordPress project, which is great um, because without that sponsoring and without the time that people put into WordPress, it could have not been uh, what it is right now. Um, so users like you and uh, people who, who build WordPress, it's, it's everybody. So why, why would you contribute? Why, is there anybody here in the room who has not contributed to WordPress right now and don't feel sad? Or uh, I see a few hands there, excellent. Um, well, not, not excellent, but there's room for improvement there. Uh, because contributing to WordPress is not only to make WordPress better, of course, in the end, that's what we all want, but it's also to improve yourself. And not only to improve yourself in the skills you have, but also broaden your skills. Uh, if, you're a, if you're a developer, a PHP developer, uh, now might be a good time to start looking at some JavaScript or React stuff, or help out in the Gutenberg project, or uh, test it and report bugs, and that, all those kind of small things is part of contributing to WordPress. Uh, you can share your knowledge, um, like a lot of people who, here, who are here on stage or doing workshops in the other tracks, uh, share your knowledge about what you have learned about WordPress and inspire other people well, to start doing that themselves if they, if they want that, of course. And the last bullet point here, uh, what's, what makes it most important for me as a person is have fun and make friends, new friends. Uh, uh, meet up with people you've met on other WordCamps uh, and share your experiences and see what, what can happen there. Uh, I'm not going to talk about how you can contribute to WordPress and what kind of areas you can contribute. There's a lot of information on uh, make.wordpress.org. Uh, there's a lot of teams, 18 teams if I remember correctly. So there's 18 different uh, parts of the WordPress project that you can contribute to. Uh, so take a look at that website make.wordpress.org um, and read along if you're interested in contributing to WordPress. Um, anyone not familiar with Slack? Everybody knows Slack, well that's great. So you can find all the teams in Slack, you can join the channels and you can well, see when they have meetings and well, see what's happening there and if you might want to be a contributor to that too. So what about the walk to Berlin? This was a um, um, the original tweet I tweeted out on June 4th uh, of this year. It was about two weeks before uh, WordCamp Europe in Belgrade. And I don't know where it came from. I had the idea of walking. Maybe I was, walk I was looking at the TV, at somebody walking. I don't know. I just had a brain wave which told me, well, maybe I should walk to WordCamp Europe next time. Didn't know that it was going to be in Berlin yet. Um, and first, we had to go to uh, Belgrade for WordCamp Europe 2018. About a week after this tweet, um, I got an injury on my knee from out of nowhere, um, as if it was a sign from somewhere, whatever you believe in, um, telling me, you're not going to walk to Berlin, that's, gonna, that's crazy, don't do this stuff. So I was in bed for like a week and a, week and a half, um, trying, well, I couldn't walk uh, with my leg, uh, had medicine for it and I got cured and I can stand and I can walk again so that healed perfectly and um, then at WordCamp Belgrade was announced which I couldn't attend uh, had to cancel all the travel plans I was gonna go there with my wife and she was gonna do some sightseeing I was gonna do well WordPress things uh, couldn't go there had to cancel everything uh, which was pretty sad um, in the end I got a strong feeling that this whole walking to the next WordCamp, I didn't know it was going to be in Berlin then, uh, was going to be something I had to pursue and um, not just for myself but maybe I could do something more for the WordPress community. So I was going to think why, why would I want to go to Berlin and because of the attention it might give me, uh, which I'm already very happy with, with the attention I'm getting also with all you guys here in the room, um, I'm going to raise awareness for a good cause because that's a perfect idea. Uh, to raise awareness and uh, tell people about my walk and raise awareness for a good cause. And I'm going to raise funds for that. And the good cause uh, is Donate WC. And uh, Donate WC is a foundation 
uh, which has four crew members right now, five? five? Five crew members right now. And the Donny WC Foundation helps people uh, go to WordCamps um, and support them financially. So if people want to go to a WordCamp and uh, be an attendee, be an organizer, be a speaker, um, and they don't have any financial means to do that, the Donny WC Foundation can help people with that. And of course, they need, new, uh, they need money to help those people. And I'm going to raise money for that uh, good cause. Um, also why I'm doing it is um, rearrange my comfort zone. Because looking at this picture, uh, your comfort zone is a uh, defined space and a lot of cool stuff happens outside of that comfort zone. Uh, one of the things uh, also was speaking for me. I like to, to share my knowledge uh, in a small group of people, uh, on a table, in a, in a small space. Um, and being on stage, uh, I might look natural and relaxed here, but actually this heart is going pretty fast <laughs> inside. Um, and every time I go on stage, uh, I have, I, I'm nervous, I have the feeling uh, if everything is going to go all right. Um, but hey, let's do it, let's just do it, take small steps and you get there. And of course, I'm going to meet new people. I need places to sleep on my walk to Berlin because it's going to take me 30 days uh, in a few stages. And uh, I need places to sleep. This is my route to um, Berlin. Uh, you can see here, it might not be readable for everybody. Uh, there's Rotterdam and a small place called Berkel and Roderijs is up there. That's where I live. And I'm going to leave there on May 19th. And I'm going to go all the way to the Netherlands, to the beautiful Veluwe, uh, all the way to Eastern Netherlands and all the way back, well, to, to Germany, a piece of the, the Hartz, how they call it, and in the end I'm going to Berlin. Uh, this map is on my website also and you can see little beds on the route. Uh, those are the places where I'm already uh, staying at people who, from the community who told me, okay, you can sleep at my place. Um, I was actually featured on a radio show last Saturday. Uh, on 3FM, uh, where people picked up my tweet and uh, they sent me a message and asked if I want to be in their uh, broadcast to help find the last three places in the Netherlands. And uh, within an hour, people have uh, uh, sent their details and that was all covered. So the Netherlands is now 100% complete uh, for the, the places where I'm going to sleep. The next challenge is Germany. So if people know radio stations in Germany, please give me a call and um, we're going to try and get on the radio right there to get some more places. So how can you help? Um, of course, use the, use the QR code that's there. Uh, you can donate money uh, and all the money that has been uh, raised is going to go directly to uh, the Donate WC Foundation. Uh, you can follow my hashtag, uh, which is uh, on my shirt also um, on Twitter. You can go to my website, which is building WordPress. Surprise. Uh, which is walk2wc.eu. Uh, you can donate there uh, or you can donate directly on the link that's here on the slide. Another thing I need is sponsors because I'm going to leave my company for about a month and it's not going to work if I'm going to bring my laptop and I'm going to walk 30, 35 kilometers a day and then try and work along the side. That's not going to work. And I have to tell my customer, you can, or my customers, I have multiple, thank God. Um, you, can, uh, uh, you cannot call me before 4 p.m. Uh, because I'm walking the whole day and after that you can call me if there's anything wrong. That's not going to work. My clients are not going to like that. So I need someone to help me uh, support my company. So if you have any ideas about that or you have uh, a company or you're the owner of a company who would like to sponsor me in return for some nice uh, uh, perks on the website and on Twitter and in my daily vlogs, I'm going to do please uh, contact me. And the last slide is, of course, uh, the slide that people always have on the last of their presentations. Are there any questions about this crazy adventure I'm going to do? Is there a link between walking and muscle boats, boots? Um, now there is. <laughs> There was a question. The question was if there was a link between Marcel Bootsman uh, and walking. Well, there wasn't, but now there is, and I think I like it. Uh, walking has been something I've been doing. Uh, I have a, we have a dog at home, so I, uh, I tend to walk well one and a half, two hours a day with him, and uh, uh, I like being outside. It clears your mind, and if I'm developing stuff and I'm stuck in something, um, I just 
well, close my laptop and I go outside with the dog. And most of the times within four or five minutes outside, I have a bright idea and how I should solve those kind of things. So walking is uh, something therapeutic. And I hope those 30 days are going to well, show me uh, who I am, what I'm going to do the next years. And maybe it's going to be a big change. I don't know. But let's first try this challenge. So thank you for the question. Thank you. Other questions about my adventure or about contributing to WordPress? Right in the back, Anton, yes. Mag. Wat ga je doen tegen de verveling? Dagen lang in je eentje, 7, 8 uur, dat is normaal een hele dag. Je ziet er maar in je eentje. Oké. I'm going to repeat the question in English. Uh, the question of Anton is, uh, is asking is, uh, what am I going to do um, to keep uh, or to be mentally challenged during uh, walking? Because it might be very, uh, I don't know, for failing, what's the, what's the oh, English word? Boring. boring. I don't like the, I don't like, I never, I'm never bored, so I don't know the word in English, sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, I've been training for about four or five times, five times now, and been walking about 30 kilometers. Uh, that takes me about five and a half, six hours, and I'm not bored a moment during walking. I see new things. I, well, you, you discover all kinds of new things that you haven't seen even around your house and in your in your own town because you always, well, you step on a bike or you go in the car and you drive off and you never see those things. So, I don't think I'm going to get bored, and I will meet people along the way. I will meet people in the in the afternoon or in the evening when I arrive at the at the places where I sleep. So I don't see that as a problem. Okay. Any other questions? Great. Then we're done. Well, great timing. I was just about to jump on stage. Time. <laughs> Time's okay. up. Give another round of applause for myself. There's going to be a very short break now, just to get the next speaker ready and. We'll be off.